Calizer for podiatrists. Clinical application with the Calizer Cube versus Calizer Blue Derma. The Calizer Cube and Blue Derma are both medical lasers with a wide range of application for podiatrists, such as onychomycosis, plantar warts, ulcers, arthritis, musculoskeletal trauma, and sports injuries. So which Calizer model to choose? The answer is it depends on the service that you wish to implement in your practice and your own clinical interest. So if your goal is to use the laser mainly for surgical application and toe fungus, uh, but you're curious about laser therapy um, um, for pain management, then the Calaser Blue Derma would be the best choice. On the other hand, if your focus is on laser therapy for sport injuries and onychomycosis, and you are keen on using it for plantar warts and occasional surgery, then Calaser, the Cube series, is your best choice. You can first note that both models look similar. However, the wavelengths and the technology are different, which explain the type of applications available with them. Let's start with the toe fungus treatment. It's easy, you can choose either model. They're both designed for treatment of onychomycosis through heat to kill the fungus. So the Calaser cube will use all four uh, red and infrared wavelengths, whereas the K-Laser Blue Derma will use an infrared wavelength combined to a blue wavelength, the 445 nanometers. The advantage of the blue wavelength is the antimicrobial property, which are obviously useful when treating an infection, uh, any type of infection. Now, if we look at the therapeutic application for pain, sport injuries and, and ulcers. Uh, the Calaser Cube is made for it. So it has an extensive list of program uh, in its software. For example, wound, ulcers and burns. It's a superficial application, so it's using very low level power. Uh, you just select the size of the wound, then treat the patient. Uh, the program Edema Congestion is also of great help to open blood vessels and increase the uh, tissue oxygenation or drainage when there's edema. So it's often used for vasculitis and for the treatment of diabetic patients with poor circulation, post-surgery and um, after an acute trauma where edema is present. Now, be aware that the Calaser Cube is a class 4 laser, HILT, H-I-L-T for high-intensity laser therapy. So for musculoskeletal injury with deep tissue, um, the Calaser Cube uses a um, higher level of power. The software on this model uh, asks a series of questions to calculate the optimal parameters for the practitioner. So it goes from body conformation, um, the body area that you wish to treat, feet, knee, leg, then the skin type to minimize the interaction with the, uh, the melanin pigment, then the level of pain and chronicity and the size of the area in square centimeter. So you can just choose. It is designed to make it very easy for the practitioner. It emits four wavelengths together, 660, 800, 905, and 970. The laser beam is homogeneous and all the various laser settings are available. Continuous wave, pulsing, intense superpulse. You can even invent a new program to reproduce the parameter of a new publication, for example, if you wish. So it is a perfect tool to develop a complete laser pain management service in your practice. The scope of practice of podiatrists is the lower body part of the patient, and then we know that. But with the Calaser, podiatrists have the uh, possibility to develop uh, and grow their, their practice and associate with another health practitioner, for example, massage therapist or health physiotherapist. Um, so the patient can benefit Calaser therapy on the upper part of the body as well as the, the lower part. And this way the practitioner can use the Calaser at its full potential. So in comparison, the therapeutic program for the cube, uh, for the Calaser Blue Derma is not as detailed as the Calaser Cube one. Okay. It has less wavelengths. And when you select the therapy mode, it combines the um, 660 red light and then the infrared 970 and the blue wavelength 445. Okay, so it treats wounds and musculoskeletal uh, injury. It has presets for 
um, superficial application uh, like wound ulcers, diabetic ulcers, uh, and also general program in the pain section for inflammation, acute or chronic pain, and edema. But the practitioner will have to adapt the program to the size of the, the area to, uh, to treat, so it's not as convenient as the, the, the cube. Now, if we look at the surgical application, it is the other way around. So with the cube, you will find a surgical program for plantar warts in the podo pododermatology section, which requires a specific handpiece. Whereas with the K-Laser Blue Derma, then the software will give you more surgical and cosmetic application, thanks to the blue wavelengths, the 445. So there's a long, thin tip to allow for very precise uh, surgery, such as matricectomy and um, ingrown toenails. Podiatrists can also easily treat plantar warts with it, but also remove other skin uh, lesions such as skin tag, fibroma, seborrheic keratosis, and other benign raised lesions found in the ankle and, and leg area. It should have been checked by a skin cancer clinic um, a doctor or dermatologist to make sure it's benign before. Then the lower area also exposed to sun damage much more than other parts of the body. So edge spots, solar lentigo are very common. And that's another common application of the Carlyser Blue Derma that you can treat. It's even possible to treat small um, red spider vents on fair skin type with this model. To select your Carlyser, first decide which services you wish to implement. Then you will know. Onychomycosis, both models are great. You can't go wrong. Plantar warts, the Blue Derma would be faster than, uh, than the, uh, the cube. Sport injuries, pain management with laser therapy, the Calaiser cube would be more precise, faster, more confident and has more wavelengths. Laser surgery, ingrown toenails and cosmetic, go for the blue derma. Either way, both Calaiser models offer great opportunities in a podiatry practice to develop many new services. So don't hesitate and contact us uh, for more information. Thank you.